Okay, so here is like the example of uh, the ladybug where I drew this directly onto the foam with the black Sharpie. And then I took a red pen just so I could see where my highlights would be. And I'm adding a lot of pressure. And I'm just anything that's totally white, I'm just gonna keep going over these lines. Uh, now my table, these black lines, are I want to be black. So I'm gonna draw around them, but I'm gonna go in the same direction so that um, it gives me that wood grain effect whenever this prints. Now, a lot of students make the mistake, and I'm gonna try to do it, where they accidentally rip it like that, where you get a hole. Um, it's actually not a big deal. Just try not to do that. If you do, just keep going. Uh, sometimes when we do this in the classroom, normally we use linoleum uh, and they'll cut through and we'll just duct tape the back. Cause it's, again, this is not your project. It's the print that you're gonna get is the project. So think of this as your stamp. Um, so if you're just pressing down and you go too far, it's not a big deal. So I can continue this, but again, now you're drawing the highlights, you're indenting the highlights. The other method, like the other video, is to do what we did before. I taped my image to the foam, and I already traced the outline so that you can see that's the indention. So if I run my finger over this, there's texture there. So wherever those textures are, those are going to be my white lines. So if it's easier and less confusing to you to go in with the Sharpie and color in all the dark areas, because again, I've done this five times already, I know that that's my coffee area. So I know I don't want to add any pressure there because that I want to be raised. I want that to print black. But I do know, looking here, I can go back. This is my strong highlight on the left. I'm going to go in again with a red or a black pen. I, I like the red because if I did black, it would get confusing as to where I've already drawn. Or a blue pen, just something to contrast. So this is my super strong white. And then as I start to go over into the right side, it's not going to be black over here, but it's going to be gray. So again, is this is like a review of the hatch lines. There's going to be some lines, but I'm not drawing lightly on the surface. The black is a light surface. The red is texture. So you really want to press down. Think of it as you're going lower into it. Um, let me just 